a fiber community uh, welcome back and today we are going through my dogs are just all in this space right now so right now hopefully that crinkling is not so loud we have this bag here I was thinking of doing a little mini series of spin along or spin with me whatever you want to call it work in progress possibly I want you guys to let me know what you think about this idea. I got this little sampler pack. And there are only about two ounces of each fiber. But I'm really excited about it. So here I have natural rose fiber. And here I have a mint fiber. Uh, and we have an Egyptian cotton. Obviously, everyone likes cotton. Natural sea shell. Sea cell. Sea cell. Tongue twister. So it's basically made with like seaweed, which is, I don't know, I think that's really cool. Uh, you know, the ocean's cool, right? Although, it probably houses aliens, so that's not so cool. Is seaweed aliens cotton? I'm just wondering. That's not relevant. Let's move on. Uh, we also have some natural hemp, which is a very sturdy fabric. We have flax, so we can make some linen. Uh, we have a nice natural uh, tensile, so that's bamboo. I like bamboo. I love working with bamboo. So. I'm not sure what it's like to spin it. We also have uh, Ramy. I'm not sure what plant that comes from. I'm not going to lie. And here we have corn. Made from corn husk. So that's really cool. I like corn. I like to eat corn. It's delicious. Um, but... So I was thinking we would do a little series of where we actually go through all of these different fibers that are plant fibers that I purchased in this sample pack and see, oh, those bags are loud. I'm going to move these because they're really loud. And see what we would like to actually work with in the future. So we could actually go through all of them as kind of like a series where I just it would be probably short form videos, maybe five minutes long, where I'm actually spinning the fiber and I'm kind of telling you my initial take on it. And then kind of at the end, you'll see the finished uh, thread from that fiber and how it looks put together. And I can kind of share my take on each of them throughout. Uh, or I could do all of those videos individually and kind of make this super video and compare at the end. And then it would just be like one video, but it would probably be closer to 45 minutes or um, maybe even an hour long video if I did something like that versus like a bunch of five minute videos. Why don't you guys let me know what you think and which one seems better to you? Or if you'd like a mix, like a bunch of five minute videos and then the super video where all of them are compared. So I think that could be fun. It would be kind of like a spinning video, which is a little bit different from what we normally do. But, you know, I think fiber crafts are fiber crafts and let's put them together and have a lot of fun. So give me your take on that. Let's see what we want to do. And uh, maybe some of you would like to join in on this and also try it out. I got this little pack off Amazon, so it's pretty easy to find. And uh, I could share a link. But I got it off Amazon, so it's pretty easy to find. It's just a, a little sample pack of a bunch of different fibers to try. And I was really excited about it. Uh, the ones I'm honestly really curious about is I know I should be the most curious about linen because everybody really loves linen. Uh, but I am actually the most curious about the seaweed fiber and <laughs> the rose fiber. I won't lie. I'm 
really curious about this seaweed fiber. It, it's a little bit different color. I, I don't know. It feels push, squishy. You know, actually the corn strikes me too. I'm like, what? Corn husk fiber? I've never purchased that on an item. Like, you know, we buy a lot of clothes with cotton and linen and bamboo and polyester and all those different things, which I love, you know, uh, but I've never purchased a clothing item that was made out of seaweed or corn husks or roses. So because of that, I'm really interested in trying them out and being like, ah, here's my rose scarf. I'm not sure if two ounces would be enough to make a scarf. We'll think of something. Maybe we'll have to, maybe we won't be able to weave them. I might not have enough of each individual fiber. So maybe I'll crochet a project with it so we can, you know, compare the swatches or something. We'll figure it out. We're creative. We got this. We got this. So let me know what you think, which video format you would prefer for this. Or if you guys are like, we're not even remotely interested, do this on your own time. I don't care. Like, let me know. Drop a comment, share, and let's, let's do this together.